a shrunken head from Peru, a 32-foot-long whale shark, and a 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy. Not the kinds of things most Long Islanders collect, but back in the heyday of Long Island's Gold Coast mansions, these exotic souvenirs were part of one man's collection of items brought back from his travels around the world. And as his collections expanded, so did his home, which he opened to the public so they too can enjoy his collections as much as he did. Eagle's Nest in Centerport was originally the summer home of railroad and shipping empire heir William K. Vanderbilt II. The mansion was begun in 1910. It started out as a small seven-room cottage and grew to accommodate Vanderbilt's increasing and assorted collections. By the 1930s, the completed mansion had 27 rooms. Mr. Vanderbilt traveled the world and collected things, and that was one of his passions, uh, as was the sea itself. The Vanderbilts made their fortune in the railroad industry and shipping. It was a very industrious family. Um, Mr. Vanderbilt, as they call him, was really the last of the wealthy Vanderbilts. Um, not that there aren't wealthy Vanderbilts, but we're talking about major wealth on the order of Bill Gates. And, and you know, it's said that at one time they had more money than the U.S. government in previous generations. But while the Vanderbilts were a famous family, William himself was a bit of a mystery and spent much of his time exploring the world on his own personal yacht. He published his journeys in very voluminous journals and he talks about the sailing and the journeys and the adventures that he had, but very little is known about Mr. Vanderbilt himself. He was a very quiet individual. And Vanderbilt didn't just collect these world treasures for himself, he wanted to share his collections with the public. One of the most interesting things about this estate is that during his lifetime, William Vanderbilt II built a museum here. He wanted to share with the community the many things he collected and brought back from his travels around the world. In fact, in his will, he said he wanted the estate to remain a museum to educate and enlighten the public. This room is an eclectic collection of Mr. Vanderbilt's travels. It includes everything from exotic butterflies and birds to weaponry and artifacts from the South Seas. Today, the Vanderbilt Estate remains a rare opportunity for Long Islanders to sample an aspect of Gold Coast living that is now long gone. It offers visitors the opportunity to view the rare treasures collected and brought back to Long Island by one of the country's legendary families, so that everyone can experience a slice of Gold Coast life that is now just a memory. In Centerport, Chris Kalora, LI News Tonight.